I'm going to give you a footwork drill using just a towel that's going to help improve your pivots and counter punches. But before we use that, I'm going to give you an even better one where we're using some napkins that's going to improve the speed of your footwork and reactions. I've got five napkins here, numbered one to five. I'm going to lay them on the ground in random order. Now I've got around two foot of space in between each one of these. Now there's two variations of this drill. The first one, I'm going to stand in my box and stance position here. I'm going to get someone else, my wife behind the camera. And what they're going to do is just call a number between one to five. When they call that number, I'm going to stay in my box and stance position and I'm going to go there. One, two, four. Now, as you can see here, I want to have good footwork, so I'm keeping my feet apart. You never want to cross your feet like this, because you know as well as I do, this is a terrible position to be in. So that's variation one. Variation two, when I get to the number, I'm going to throw a three punch combination. Four. <laughs> three. <laughs> two. Whoa. <laughs> Now when you're doing this, I want you to focus on good form and technique rather than try to do it fast and show off to your misses like I've just been trying to do there. Keep it slow and calm, good form. Drill number two, we're going to just use a hand wrap and we're going to put it on the ground like this. A little bit of magic for you. So I put it in a U shape on the ground with about a foot and a half in between. Now this is a great drill for range finding. Now if you visualize, there's an opponent over here, a big strong guy. <laughs> and you're here like this, you're both out of range to be able to land punches. Look, I can't hit him there. He wouldn't be able to hit me from there. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a phase attack, which means we're going to get into range with a step in throw the punches, then step out of range for defense. I'm gonna give you three different variations of this drill. So I'm gonna step into range, ba -ba, throw that one, two. As he counter punches, I'm using the feet for defense and stepping out. Now I'm here, stepping in, ba -ba, stepping out. This is the basic version. Now let's advance this a little bit more. What if when I step in, he's a good fighter, what's he gonna do? He's probably gonna step back. So we've got to step in again. I'm going to step in with that one, two. He's stepping back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fire that third shot. The big one, straight jab as he's moving back. Again, so I'm going to be here. It's going to be a one, two, one. A bit faster. Bah, bah, bah. And then step him back. Bah, bah, bah. Now look how fast the feet are. But it's important when you're doing this, you keep your feet apart. The last thing you want to do is step in and bring your feet together because again, we're off balance. Keeping them feet apart. Bah, bah, bah. They're coming back here. And when we're doing this, we want to land on the balls of our feet. We'll land on the ball of our foot each time. If you land on the heel, which I see often, it's much harder to be able to bounce back out the way out of defense. Now the third variation of this, if he's got so much experience, he knows what you're going to do. So we've got to be less predictable. Now we can do this by fainting. So I'm here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to faint, 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 ba, ba, ba. Then throw again. I'm going to faint realistically, faint, then, bah, 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 then come back in and out. Hit and don't be hit. Moving on to number three. Because we've already got them done, we're going to be using these napkins again. What we're going to do, we're going to put these in a vertical line in random order. Then we're going to start in the middle and same as laterally, we're going to do the same moving forwards and backwards. And there's three advanced variations of this. So the first variation, when your partner calls a number, you're just going to go there and throw a three punch combination. One, five, three. And the second one is when you're not throwing the punches, I just want you moving here, waiting, moving, moving. Three. <laughs> See, I'm moving, I'm moving. I'm getting a little bit more time in between, keeping my opponent thinking. Five. <laughs> moving. One. <laughs> now, moving on to the third one, the more advanced one, is we're going to continue doing the three punches. We're going to continue doing the movement. But this time, before you throw the combination, I want you to throw a realistic feint. And it looks like this. One. <laughs> so I'm moving. Five. Moving, faint. Three. Watch the faint, watch the faint. <laughs> now these are the habits that we need to get into, not just with our feet, but with our hands as well. Because you need to have great feet 
to have great hands. And I've actually came up with a perfect system to help you perfect your punches. And you can have this for free. Click the link below and I will send you this free video package of showing you a system of being able to perfect your punches. There's downloadables, there's workouts included in that as well. So again, click that link below and I'll send you it straight away. Now, let's move on to number four. This one, we're going to be using a towel, but it's not the pivot drill. That one's the next one. This one is a drill I use with everyone I'm coaching to help relax and to really drill in this perfect footwork. Now I'm using a towel, but you can use hand wraps, boxing gloves, anything else you like. And there's three great variations of this drill. We're gonna put this flat on the ground like that. We're gonna have our hands down and we're gonna just work on moving around this towel with the hands down here. Now you might be thinking, Tony, what are you got your hands down for? That's not boxing, you stupid. You know nothing about boxing. I'm turning this video off. I'm not watching anything else of your videos. But bear with me, relax, relax. I'm the one who should relax, right? <laughs> so yeah, you got your hands down. Now the reason we've got our hands down is because all I want you focusing on is them good feet and breathing because Often when people's got their hands up, they're getting tight shoulders and they're moving around like this and they start throwing the punches and you're holding your breath. But now it's just totally bliss. We're here moving around, keeping them feet apart. We never want to bring your feet together. Now you're going to go one way, then the other way. Now if you're orthodox, when you're doing this, you will feel like moving to your right is a little bit harder and a little bit more awkward. That's natural. But one thing that I don't want you doing on this drill is coming up coming around, coming square on like this. If you're like this and I just push you like that, what's going to happen? You're going to fall over. You need to keep that lead foot in front of you all the time. Hands are down, focusing on breathing. Get one side, coming around, moving around the other side. Now, when you're doing this, I don't want you moving around like this, but instead, I want you to keep that boxing stance all the time as if someone is in front of you all the time. So the person's in front of me all the time. If I start turning like this and the person's in front of me, now I'm square on. So instead, they're in front, I'm here, coming around. The person's in front of me here. That's where he is, he's there, yeah. Now variation two of this, we're gonna do the same thing, but now we've got our hands up. Now we're staying relaxed, the hands were down, to focus on relaxation, but we want that good footwork as well. I'm on the balls of my feet, I'm not crossing my legs at all. Then once you've done this, what we're gonna do is variation number three, which is the full lot. Hands up, we're gonna move around, plant our feet, do some head movement, hands up, moving around, plant your feet, a little bit of head movement in between, like this, coming around, coming around. Then this time we're gonna throw some punches, move that head, keep moving around, keep moving around. Ba, ba, ba. Now moving on to the drill, what's going to definitely help you pivot better and counter punch better. And all we need is this towel. But before I tell you about that, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is a supplement from Renew by Science, which really helps boost my NAD levels. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is this? Why do I need to boost my NAD levels? Well, the benefits of this is unbelievable. And studies show that this boosts your energy levels, improves your cognitive function, boosts your immunity, improves your sleep quality. And the reason why most people take NAD plus and I'm one of them is it helps slow down the aging of your cells. Now, I don't want to be your old sluggish man. I want to stay young and healthy and fresh for as long as I can. And I know that boosting my NAD levels will do this. Now, this sounds too good to be true. Do your own research. And then when you've researched it, click the link below. Check out Renewed by Science. If you use code BOXING, you're going to save 10%. And as well, if you don't like it, they'll give you all your money back. That's how much they swear by this product. And if you know me, you know I don't promote any BS, just things that I take myself. So click that link below, check it out, and you'll see for yourself. Now, let's use this towel to wipe the sweat off my face, and we will go into the pivot and counter punching. What I'm going to do, I'm going to roll this up like that into a line, getting it long. Now, the longer you have this, the probably better it will be. So I'm going to break down how to pivot, then I'm going to show you how to use the towel for it. I'm going to get into my fighting stance, one foot either side, and I'm going to think that there's a nail through my foot into the ground. Now you might be thinking, Tony's lost the plot. What's he talking about, a nail in my foot? Bear with me. If you think if there was something through your foot, yeah, it would be hurting, but as well, you couldn't bring your foot off the ground. 
the same when you're pivoting. You don't want to bring your foot off the ground and then pivot. That's for a different video. You can do that, but what I'm going to show you, we're not. Now your toe is stuck on the ground. What are you going to do? You're going to swing this back leg around 90 degrees. Now I'm facing this way. That line's still in me, in between my feet. That's the pivot there. Now a little bit faster. I'm in this boxing stance. Now I'm in this boxing stance. Now I'm facing here. That line's still in between my feet there. Now I'm facing forward. I'm ready to go. Now the reason we've got this in between our foot is so we lift in the back leg up. One thing I don't want you to do is when you're here, is slide it around because that's gonna slow the pivot down and mean you're doing it incorrectly. So you've gotta lift that back foot up as you go around, now we're here. So before we add the counter punches in, we're gonna put a one, two before that. Now this one, two position, I've got the weight on my front leg, getting the power into the back hand. As this comes back let me face, the same time, this back leg is coming around. And I'm gonna show you from this angle here. So I'm facing this position, one round. Now I'm back in this boxing stance, lying in between my feet here, ready to throw them counter punches. Now here's the counter punches that we're gonna throw. We're here, we threw that one, two. This backhand's coming back to the face. That lands the same time as the back foot. Now the weight is a little bit more on the back side, but what we're gonna do as soon as that lands, is you're gonna push off that back foot with a double jab two. And it'll look like this. Ba, ba, wha, ba, ba, ba. Now again, having this in between our foot, is helping us bring this front leg off the ground. So we've done the pivot, bringing our back foot over the towel. Then from that position, when we throw in the first jab, we need to step over the towel. When we step in with the jab, it's getting more power behind the punch. And the momentum of that movement will help generate power in the second jab and the cross to finish it off. If you enjoy these footwork drills with no real equipment, if you can get yourself an agility ladder, you should definitely do these 25 drills on here. These are the best footwork drills that I would see you can do. Click here and watch this video next.